phone to find him. A new 12-week abortion ban in North Carolina will be voted on today. The bill makes exceptions for rape, incest, the life of the mother, and fatal defects. It passed a committee this morning along party lines with Democrats voting against it. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the legislative building with where that debate is right now. Laura? Jeff, you know, this bill would effectively, um, this bill, by the way, was 46 pages long, but it was only released to the public late last night. And it's already scheduled for a vote in the House this afternoon, less than 24 hours after it was put out to the public and after only one public hearing. That was this morning. Uh, the bill would effectively ban Medicaid abortion, we learned today, at 10 weeks, not 12 weeks. And patients would be required to make three trips to an abortion clinic to complete one. Well, that'll make it difficult for women from other states to come to North Carolina to get an abortion. It would also include extensive new regulations on abortion clinics that may force some to close, and it requires doctors who perform abortions to submit new reporting to the state and to get signed attestations from every patient. Bill sponsor Senator Joyce Kravick says it also includes $160 million in additional funding for birth control, adoptions, and foster care. Many of these opportunities for moms in this bill will make it easier for her to make that decision to keep her baby. Babies are not burdens. They are a joy. They are a gift. And we have 1,400 medical professionals across the state that have signed that they do not want these legislative bans in North Carolina. So please respect the medical profession. Vote no on this bill. Thank you. That was Dr. Erica Pettigrew. She was one of a long list of medical doctors and OBGYNs who spoke out against the bill in committee this morning. They say the bill is medically unnecessary, interferes with the medical care they provide to patients, and puts up new roadblocks that will make it more difficult for women who want an abortion to get one. Now, Republican lawmakers fast-tracked this bill by putting it into another bill that already passed both chambers. So it only needs to get one vote in the House and one vote in the Senate. That House vote is scheduled for this afternoon. Governor Roy Cooper has already said he'll veto it. Jeff? They spoke out about that overnight. Laura Leslie, live at the Legislative Building. Thank you. Rallies will take place today as groups express concerns over the abortion proposal. Progress NC Action will be at Raleigh's Bicentennial Plaza at 1 p.m. A second rally is scheduled for this evening at 5 at the State of Beer in Raleigh. Our NC Capital team is closely following this legislation. You can read what's in the full bill, reaction to it, and what's next on WRL.com. A woman was